Wow, here we are into the final game of this. The exceedingly late, but exceedingly gorgeous and exceedingly good cake. That is my anniversary viewer special. I say, why did I, why in the world? I, I called it anniversary viewer special because that's what my note said. And I'm now suddenly thinking back and going, why did I call it anniversary viewer special? I suppose you're a viewer and you chose the games, I suppose. Well, you kind of chose the games. Two of the games I chose, uh, and I chose two from each person's comment. So, you sort of chose them, but also I chose. We all chose! We all can be happy, but I don't know, I don't know. Anniversary viewer special makes it sound like there's a lot more viewership involved, but anyway, that's not hugely important. I should have not read the note, then I wouldn't have fucked up the intro, but we, we've fucked up the intro twice now, but the first one you didn't see. It all here. Yeah, you could have seen on here. It. God damn it! Will you just do something productive? We are here for dot hack infection. Oh, that is right. And the reason we are here in dot hack infection is because of Soul Sword Five. Or could that be Souls Word 5? We've been through that one before. You can't remember. You're an idiot. Yes. Or, of course, it could be a cunning way of writing Soul Swords. With a 5 implying a backwards S. At least that theory is new. Anywho, the reason it's dot .hack is because part of the requesty, suggesty thing amaze was any game you've been enjoying much like the first one which was I interpreted the first one certainly as any game you've bought recently that you enjoyed I've interpreted this one as any game you've been enjoying recently but not necessarily bought recently that makes sense somewhere in my mind and I, the reason why I chose Dot Hack as a game I've been enjoying recently is, well, basically because I've been enjoying it recently. I thought, I think that was self-explanatory, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was! You didn't need to say it! You are a fucking idiot! But you will note when we get inside the world, not only are we on the eh, server, I think, was that Theta? Oh, I don't know. It could be anything. It might be Theta, it might be something else entirely. But you'll notice we're in Don Lerig, somewhere we have never been before. And, I'll tell you what, just as an exciting treat for you, that is a Grunty. That is Sal the Grunty. I do know. That's why I said to everybody watching that you're Sal the... I didn't know you were the Stray Grunty. Don't know. Yeah! I cut him off. Won't you say? Yeah, I would say. I don't want to. No, I don't want to talk to you again. I don't want to talk to you again. You're a big fat pig, and that's not insulting. They genuinely are big fat pigs. But I did have the opportunity to breed my own big fat pig. Where is he? Oh, that's that's the one I'm currently breeding, which is Grunty Kid. Let's talk to the Grunty Kid. Father, I'm hungry. Well, what you want? I think that's the reason why you never got white cherries, because I ain't got no white cherries. You want to eat white cherries? I haven't got any white cherries for you to eat. No, I have golden egg, grand mints, on the melon, Cody sets. I can't remember, but basically, any time you go near it, it must say root vegetable, la pumpkin, mushroom, mandragora. Piney apple! Immature egg. Burkett egg. Invisible egg. Bloody egg! <laughs> One of my favourites, all time favourites, and I, for some reason I get the impression I've already specified that at some point. Possibly last time I did, dot hack. But one of my all time favourites is definitely Anna Melon! Because it's such a weird one. And I, I do quite like Cordy Seps! Because there's such a gap between it. Cordy Fips. And the one I almost always remember is, for some reason, Bearcat Egg. 
And I don't, I don't know why I remember that one in particular. I can't give you white cherries. White cherries. I've no idea if that's what they sound like because I haven't been able to get them. Anyway, do we have... Act there he is. No, that's Susie. Fair enough. I don't necessarily want to talk to... Actually, I do want to talk to Susie because I don't think I've ever interacted with Susie My before. My name is Susie the Stray Grunty. You, you don't sound much like a Susie. Do you mind? Just what are you staring at? I'm, I'm staring at the fact that you're a big fat pig. Well, you sort of stare all you like, pig dog cow thing. Trade with you. Oh, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Seems a bit, uh, a bit much. You may also note that I've got epically fancy blades, and since last time uh, we have we saw Dot Hack, I have 585 health. Which is only slightly epic. Oh, here we go. This is the Grunty I raised. Twas a noble Grunty. Do you need me? I need you. I need you like I need a hole in the head. Uh, <laughs> hey, some people really need a hole in the head. Some people do. I don't know. But yeah, for some reason, the noble Grunty turns into sort of like a French toff. I genuinely no idea why. Anyway. Let's just check, because I didn't exactly prepare myself well. I've got 32 out of 40 items, so I've got plenty of items to pick up. Wow, that... Yeah, that didn't... I, I think I screwed up my control settings uh, a while back, so shit may go a bit off. I think I put them back to the way they were, but yeah, let's be honest. I can't guarantee that fact. I've got a couple of spare blades and a newt necklace. Why do I keep the newt necklace? Well, at least one of them perhaps for the sake of Lara, but the other one I can probably get rid of. So I am going to, that is the Elf's Haven, so let's pop around to the item shop, as the item shop allows me to sell things. Over to there, let us sell one of the Newt necklaces. I only need one, and I probably in fairness will not change out to anything other than nothing to do with the Newt necklace. Whatever I've got at the moment, is the one that is perfectly fine. Apparently I did, yeah, I really did, end up stocking up. So apparently I was all prepped and readied last time I left off this game for the sake of doing things in a most concise method, which should be awesome. Now this is... Let's have a look at my status... Oh my god! Oh my brother testify! You was level 30! Holy shit! And you have got 107,690 GP. Now I don't know what GP explicitly stands for, but at a guess maybe gold points? Gold pieces? Chances are it's gold something. But I've also got the Master Blades, which gives me the ultimate manoeuvres. Uh, the Thunder Twin Spin and the Fire Twin Spin, so Twin Slash, sorry, Twin Dragon, Thunder Coil. They are awesome. You <laughs> try, you've you've really got to do me a favour and try and remember back to the first time I played the game and the time I that was way back in Dragon's Half Hour, and of course the most recent one in uh, Jake Duncan's Gaming Circus. Try and remember that, and then try and note how much more awesome my moves have become. Because I think I, I, I got a feeling it was basically the timeline for those interested was I played it in Dragon's Half Hour, maybe once, twice, three times a woman. No, it was it was once or twice, and then I picked it up again on I don't know. Sorry, I picked it up again on Jake Dragon's Gaming Circus. Trying to remember your own titles, you fucking moron. And after picking it up on Jake Dragon's Gaming Circus, I became significantly obsessed with it. And so I think in back in Dragon's Half Hour, it was a case of I was level one doing the intro, and then J Dragon's Gaming Circus was me at around about level five, and now suddenly out of nowhere. Well, I say out of nowhere, actually hard graft and epic volumes of work. We have ourselves at level 30, and I believe, as a little special treat, and I suppose 
at this stage I should warn you, spoilers may be incoming if you have never played and plan to play Dot .hack, I would highly recommend perhaps not watching this. Uh, at, from this point onwards at least. But this, I believe, is the final level da -da -da -da. for the Heldin. Now what I'd also, I'd, I'd love to be able to show you all the other characters I've got available, but unfortunately, the only character I'm allowed to, or no, I'm allowed to bring a secondary, but the character I have to bring with me is Black Rose, because she's part of this final mission and you don't have a choice you have to bring black rose so unfortunately i do have to invite black rose to the party okay. here, here i come I good girl although she doesn't actually come because she stood by the gate waiting for me anyway and let's let's review cat lady i think i gave reference to the cat lady or the cat rabbit some kind of cat with rabbit is weird combo but supposedly you're not supposed to be able to create a character with a cat face and bunny ears, uh, which is probably for for the best, really. Uh, so how she did, nobody really knows. I don't think that was ever really explained. Then you've got Orca, of course, who can't come because he was the one right at the very, 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 very beginning who brought me, Veldin, into the world of the world. Should have thought that sentence for a little bit more carefully. And he ended up in a coma because he was data drained inside the game. He ended up in a coma in real life because his character was data drained in the game. Then we met the Samurai Warrior, Sendiru. He is heavy blade, blood like a black rosa, but he's very much more samurai style. He looks like a samurai, he talks like a samurai, he have eye patch like samurai, he have green paint like samurai as you can see from his picture he is he's he's pretty awesome as characters go he is pretty fucking awesome you've got pyros or pyros i haven't really decided and i don't think they've specified it out loud or have they no, i don't know he is a heavy axe man he has got spindly little legs a massive torso and a spindly tiny little head Itchy, tiny little head. He's a weird character who ends up... He's kind of almost just comic relief in this. But, having said that, his heavy axe manoeuvres are quite spectacular. Then we'll skip Elk for now. And go to Natsume, who is a fellow twin blade. Which always, unfortunately, for, for my interpretation of this game, and the sort of interpretation of... MMOs in general, you don't necessarily, you want a nice variety of classes. So me having to be Veldin, who has to be a twin blade, I find makes Natsume somewhat obsolete. Because it's like, I do everything you do, but of course every item I pick up, I'm biased to giving me the best items. Which means I do everything you do, but better! Because I'm selfish and give myself all the best items. Well, having said that, I wasn't selfish because the way you get Natsume... I'm not sure if you if you kept the item. I don't know whether she'd join you or not. But certainly I gave her the spiral blades, I believe it was. And that's how I convinced her to join me. You have Gardenia! Lady Gardenia! Some high-ranking... Actually, she's not that high-ranking. I'm two levels higher than her and saved her ass. So, but she... she holds herself high and mighty as if she's a legend in the world which I think supposedly she is but she is a long arm which means she wields a spear then you've got Mistral the wave master now Mistral I quite like she's quite useful but has perhaps the most annoying voice you will have ever heard it is almost just stereotypical Japanese high pitched kind of oh I'm excited and happy and it's bloody annoying uh, so, we've skipped past the one person who is coming with me, who is also a wave master. But, although still annoying, subtly less so than Mistral, I find. And therefore, I tend to have Elk upon my team, for he is able to heal me quite happily. So, after what is perhaps considered the longest and worst intro in the world... I am going to go forth. Area where Meg's friend is missing. It was erased from the board 
but Helba emailed you. Chosen. Hopeless. Nothingness. <laughs>